I'm teacher Haley. We miss you guys so much over this big crazy break. So we're here to teach you guys about God's good news. We're gonna tell you guys the story of Daniel, Daniel and the lion's den. All right, boys and girls. In the beginning of our story, Daniel lived in a kingdom under the rule of a good king, King Darius. This king appointed 120 men to help him rule over his kingdom and make sure that everyone in the kingdom was taken care of. To make sure that these guys were doing their job right, the king had appointed three men above them, higher in power, to make sure they had done their job right. One of these men was named Daniel, and Daniel was amazing at his job. He always followed each and every rule and prayed to God every day. Now, when the king saw how good Daniel was at his job, it made the king favor Daniel, and this made the other men very jealous. These men were so jealous they had made a plan and plotted against Daniel to get him in trouble with the king. They went to the king and said, May the king live forever. We have all agreed that the king should issue a law and make anyone who prays to any god or human being during the next 30 days, except if they are praying to you, your majesty, shall be thrown into the lion's den. Now, your majesty, issue this law and put it in writing so it cannot be changed. Now, Daniel refused to follow the law. He knew that if he prayed to God three times a day like he had always been doing, he would be fulfilling something in his heart. Now, because of this, the men caught Daniel praying and they told the king and the king had to throw Daniel in the lion's den. So the king had thrown Daniel into the lion's den and when the king had went back to his palace, he was in his room and he wasn't eating and he couldn't sleep and he just felt so bad for throwing his good friend Daniel into the lion's den because these men had tricked him into making a bad law. Now when the king saw how powerful Daniel's prayer was, he had decided that the law that he had made was unfair and that he made a new law instead. And this new law said that everyone should worship Daniel's God. Okay, boys and girls, so that was the end of our story. And we just want you guys to remember that God is always protecting us and he's always answering our prayers. So you guys don't need to be too nervous on this break and everything will be okay. And we hope to see you guys soon. Thanks for joining us, Kids World. We really hope you enjoyed the big God story today. Now, please be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and come back next week for another amazing story.